Hello everyone, I hope all of you are doing well. Welcome to another AI Talks. In this video, we're going to talk about is the AI degree really worth it? So this is coming from a student who studied computer science with specialism in AI. Um, this is Neda Mixu. Let's get started with this video. All right, so this is the table of contents. These are the topics that we'll be discussing for today. As much as I want to go into details in all these topics, I'll try to keep it short to give you a general idea for now. And hopefully in the future, we'll talk in depth in each of these topics, right? So let's get started with the introduction. Okay, so who am I? Why am I doing this video? Right, so as I mentioned, I am a student who studied computer science with specialism in AI. So I'm graduate. I already, I'm already done with that. And currently I'm working as an AI software engineer. So I thought that this perspective would be interesting to share, like whether it actually helped me out to study computer science with specialism in AI as an AI software engineer right now. And of course, you're aware how AI is rapidly increasing these days, right? With all the solutions and all the jobs that require AI now. So I thought it'd be interesting to explore this idea here, right? Okay, so what is the purpose? So again, <laughs> with the race of AI nowadays, um, I'm sure a lot of people out there are asking, should they really go for it? Should they study computer science with specialism in AI? Is it really worth it? Is it gonna help out? I want to explore that point, yeah. So what you're gonna expect from this video and future videos that I'll be sharing everything from my side. I'll be sharing information. I'll be sharing the things that I did, what I've learned, and I'm gonna be explaining, of course. And of course, I'm willing to listen and hear from people's side if they want me to go in depth in certain topics and so forth okay right so now let's move on to the next slide which is going to be about why i chose the ai degree All right, so let's get started. So I started my degree back in 2020, which means at that time, ChatGPT wasn't around. I know AI solutions were. However, ChatGPT or like the recent AI development wasn't the reason why I went for AI, as in contrast with people who are considering it now because of that, right? So I want to share with you why I chose it. Right, so this goes back to me in high school where I was interested in both ICT and maths. So I did my IGs, IGCSE, and I wanted to choose a career path that depended on these two subjects. Okay, so this is where it started. And then it goes to my passion for technology and psychology. With technology, it was all about I wanted to understand how far can technology take it, you know? and psychology i'm interested in learning about different people's behavior and then i had to think about it futuristic wise what is the best and most safe career choice and i'm sure a lot of people thought about it this way as well like seeing how dependent we are in technology not just recently but a few years back as well this is a choice where you can see still will keep growing, right? So these were the major pillars of why I chose AI as my degree, okay? Now let's move on to the next slide. Expectations versus reality. There is a lot to be said here, but I just wanted to talk about the most common expectations versus reality. The first one being that once you go into any computer science related degree, you would expect that you're gonna come out fully equipped. Yeah, you would think you'll learn all the programming languages there on the market. You're going to think you have all the technical skills that you'll need, but in reality, it's very fast paced. Even when you're in your university years where you're also keeping up with everything around you, once you come out of there, you're gonna see how fast reality is. Like, there's a lot going outside that you weren't aware of. So you might feel overwhelmed knowing that there's a lot of things out there that you're not aware of 
that you thought you were when you were in your university years. So this is one of the big obstacles, I think, for me and everyone who's studying the degrees that are related to computer science could face, yeah? Right, so I just wanted to, not to scare you off, but I just wanted you to have this in mind. Okay, so now for curriculum and learning, I'll be sharing with you guys the topics, or let's say the models, that we have studied. So if you're interested, you can look into these topics. I'm not gonna go into details now and explaining each one of them, but I'm willing to. And I also still have my projects for all of these modules. <laughs> so if you're interested to know and learn more about that, I'm definitely willing to share about them. Right. So these are just the topics. As I mentioned, I do have them here. <laughs> I have all the material and I love explaining I love teaching so I can explain about what you would expect like the type of projects that you'll be given and the programming languages that you might be learning and all the skills that you might be obtaining as well right okay so this is for the curriculum and learning again this is just a general overview however I'm willing to go in depth if required. Okay, so now for challenges and overcoming them. I divided the challenges into two. The first one, definitely academic challenges. You might think you know everything. You'll shy away from asking for help. However, it's really, really important to make sure that you keep asking for help. And once I started, like when I started my degree, right, ChatGPT wasn't around, <laughs> so I didn't have an AI to ask for help. I needed to go and ask help from people. However, in my last semester, uh, ChatGPT was actually around, in it, and it was the reason why I was able to pass or like to finish my final year project. And that is because I needed, I needed the help, like an assistant to be there with me throughout the whole journey. So I want to make, to make sure that people are aware that it's really difficult to go through this all alone, yeah? Um, personal challenges, I would say the biggest one is to balance being able to finish your studies, complete your assignments, and at the same time, other responsibilities. For me, I had to leave my country to pursue my studies, or I was studying abroad, right? So of course I had other responsibilities, but here I want to talk more about the fact that you're like a, you're trying to balance your academic life versus your personal life or your social life as well, which is really, really important as a university student. It's really important to have a well-developed social life so that you can take full advantage of what it's like to be a university student, right? It's not the same when you are graduating, yeah? Right. So, which brings me to this point here, the values and outcomes when it comes to university life, yeah? So, of course, one of the first ones that you need to focus on is the skills. What are the skills that you're learning throughout your university life? These are just a few of the skills that you might have learned. Um, but I think as I was writing the skills I've obtained, these are the first ones that came to mind, and these are the ones that I'm most grateful for so I am an introvert, okay? So public speaking, leadership, these skills are really terrifying to me, or they were terrifying to me until we had module, a um, whole module that was just related to public speaking, which was great, that was amazing. And presentations, video editing, these touch on the things that I'm, I'm interested in. As you can see now, I'm presenting this whole thing in a PowerPoint, which is really one of the ways that I find easier to express myself, express my thoughts, or even organize them. Video editing is my one of my passions. So I wrote it down here because there were a lot of competitions. There were a lot of, a lot of opportunities for me to learn about these things. and. I'm touching on these points because there were also clubs and communities that help you explore those things. So of course, this is not about AI anymore. This is about the university life. The reason why I'm mentioning all these skills is because 
that's the point that I was mentioning earlier, striking the balance between learning those technical skills and learning about the other things. When you put yourself in a position when you're pursuing or learning about the things that you're passionate about or the things that you actually have real, genuine interest in, you give yourself the chance to explore those things as well. Because no matter how much you're struggling, you're still going to fight through because you want this, right? So it all ties back to the point that I said earlier about the fact that technology, psychology, these are my interests, right? And I personally see AI as the perfect balance between psychology and technology because I personally think the next big step for AI is the merge of emotional intelligence and artificial intelligence, right? I'm definitely willing to talk more about that, but let's not get (laughs) distracted here. Okay, so the second point is networking and opportunities. And this is what I mean when I say taking full advantage of university life. You want to attend career first. You want to take an internship when you can. You want to meet people from around the world, especially that I was an international student. I had the chance to meet other international students as well. And the reason why my LinkedIn right now has a lot of uh, connections is because of the fact that I had the chance to meet all these different people, yeah? Which is really good, really good for opportunities. And social life. (laughs) If you, if you got your friends from all around the world, you never know where you're going to end up in the future. You never know which countries you're going to visit. You never know who you're going to need to meet again or who you're going to meet again, right? So these are all about the university life. And I hope that you can see the points that I'm trying to connect here, yeah? So to answer the question of the video, is it really worth it? For me personally, from my personal experience, from everything that I've learned, from everything that I've experienced, yes, it was worth it. It was worth it to go through all of that, to learn all the things I've learned and to be aware of all the things I'm aware of, right? I think to really, really genuinely say that it was worth it, it definitely was a matter of risk versus reward. So. The risk that I had to take was to leave my family behind and to go to learn all these things. So there was always a risk and there was always a reward for it. So were all the rewards worth all the risks? In the position that I am right now, yes. But at that time, during those times where when I was going through all the obstacles that I've went through, no, it wasn't. It was a lot. It was a lot to take in. But looking back at it, would I do it all over again? That is a hard answer. That is a hard answer to think about. Because what if I could have done something else, yeah? Because, again, one of my other passions is psychology. I could have studied psychology. And funny enough, one year later from when I started studying AI, psychology was introduced to our university. So, yeah. The aim of this video is to give you a general understanding of what you could expect from an AI degree and to make it easier for you to decide whether it was worth it or not. This video is more of my personal experience and in the other videos it's going to be more of touching on those things that I've mentioned, yeah? So let's conclude the video. One of the main takeaways here is If you're considering AI as a degree, you need to look into why you chose it. Is it rooting from interest? Is it rooting from how you're seeing AI is like these days? And really question it because that reason should be your main motivator. It's the thing that will keep you going, right? That's the first point. The second point would be you need to know what to expect from the AI degree so that you know, is this what I'm looking for? Is this what I'm willing to put my time and learn about, right? And the last point would be, don't shy away from asking. You can go around, ask people, who people who are familiar with it, people who are also thinking about it, discuss, because this is how I was able to make that decision. I went around and asked people. I was waiting out whether to go for AI or cybersecurity because that is another interesting 
choice, right? So it's really important to get all those different perspectives, which is why I'm also doing these videos. I want to share the perspective from the university perspective and the next video, actually it's part two, is going to be from the AI software engineer perspective. So after you're done with the degree, looking back at it, was it the one? Was it the choice that needed to be made to reach that point? Yeah. So maybe I could have just studied computer science in general, not specifically AI. So what was about the computer science AI that made it worth it? Okay. So I hope that you found this uh, video insightful and let me know what you think. Please don't shy away from supporting this channel because I'm willing to be sharing all those things with you. So with that being said, thank you so much for listening and watching this video. If you have any questions, again, don't shy away from asking. I'm keeping this slide to make sure that I give credits, full credits for this template and everything with, within the template. <laughs> Thank you so much once again and see you soon.